Hi, this is Kelvin Hahn Yee, and you're watching Creative Current on LAArtStream.com. I'm here at the Advent Theater in the North Hollywood Arts District, um, where we're going to be talking about a new play that's opening on September the 23rd called Vaudeville, A Play with Music. And uh, we're going to be talking to the uh, director of the play, Ken Campbell. Ken, welcome to Kelvin, Creative Current. Thank you. And uh, also one of the uh, terrific talents in the, in the play, uh, Michael Hetherington, better known as Tuba the Clown. Michael, welcome. Uh, Michael, uh, I'll, uh, go for the high, yes. I'll go for the high five, the slow high five, because, of course, you are a clown, and I just didn't want to, right? I, I thought maybe I you left might... a buzzer in my other suit. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, 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 hope that, I hope that's not a stereotype. I'm not stereotyping clowns, well, am I? That's not it's right. the stereotype that reflects what is very often truth. Right. So. And, and is, it, is it okay for me to, to, to say clown, or do you prefer clown American? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it, it's all good for you. I'm so easy. Okay, okay. Um, Michael, you know, before, yeah. we get into, <laughs> before we get into this, uh, uh, to the play that you're in, uh, Vaudeville, a play with music, um, I want to talk a little bit about your background, where you come from. Now, you are, uh, you are a trained, real clown, a, a, a great tradition of performing uh, uh, that, that, that goes back perhaps even to the beginnings of of theater itself, right? Yeah, it's one of the things I'm probably the most proud of in my life, and that I got my, got my start in Ringing Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus through their clown college, and then seven years on the road with them, living on a train and performing in arenas all over the United States, and then wow. taking that education to teach clowning in their clown college in Japan, and then teaching in, in, uh, wow. in all over Hong Kong. Uh, Korea, all, all over the place, and Pacific Rim did a lot of performing. So, so really taking there. this art form and, and, and communicating it to, yeah. to other cultures and other things, right? Yeah. Right, right. That's, that's terrific. Um, how, did you, how did you get into this? Are you literally the guy that ran away and, 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 and joined the circus, or, or uh, did you have an interest in this? Well, it's, it's, it's a little bit more like uh, anything else nowadays. You have, to, you have to sign up an application. There's a background check done sure. on you. you. There's all kinds of, you, you can't just run away and do that anymore. So you there's a to. background check to the, to the, to the clowns. Oh, yeah. Very, you don't very, want a whole lot of John Wayne Gacy's. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a very elaborate. It's not uh, just anybody in baggy no, it's pants not, anymore. It's just not anybody in baggy <laughs> pants and big shoes, right? Yeah, well, right, right. There's, there's, things have changed a bit since, sure. uh, since the time when vaudeville was, uh, was, uh, was you know, the actual time that the, the play is set. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Now, the play is set in 1919? 1919. Uh, I yeah. believe. Now, uh, okay, you just mentioned that things have changed. That's interesting to me. Is there is there a change in the the, the performing style or, or what clowning is from from that period of time to, to what we do nowadays? Uh, this this is the, the great thing about uh, vaudeville play with music. What it what it does is it it's right in the middle of a lot of changes because you know the yeah. the big the big change as far as vaudevillians go is uh, well first right after World War One. Uh, very big changes in the world. Uh, yes. the, the, the Technology, Industry. Motion, motion pictures are just coming in. Sure. So vaudeville, burlesque, uh, circus all took a big black eye when, right, when, right. When, when motion pictures came in. Motion pictures is wonderful and of fantastic. Yeah. But at the time, is this just a fad that's going to take money out of our pockets and then we have to gear up again? Or is it going to change the world? And of course, it changed the world. Sure, sure, sure. Now, Ken, and, uh, and obviously, the motion picture companies—they were trying to buy out the theaters. Well, some of the so, well, theaters. some of the vaudeville theater owners uh, even started to change their theaters into uh, it was very uh, lucrative. Yeah, of, of course. Even, even in this play, there's an offer for Kit Turner that owns the boarding house and the theater from the movie companies to sell for ten thousand dollars. Wow. So the economic. Uh, you know, incentive to switch from 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 live theater to vaudeville to to motion pictures was was, in, was in, you know sure immense. sure now now uh, we we've we've gotten into this uh, in, into the play now and so uh, you know I, I'd like you to uh, say something about the play now vaudeville for for some of us who might not know exactly what that is now this is a, a sort of an American quintessential American kind of entertainment, yes, that, well, it comes from other traditions, mm. I suppose, right? British, Maybe you can British say something music, like that. British Music Hall uh, kind of set the foundation for it, as did everything in America, uh, in you know, early America, because, you know, we were British. Yes, you know, right, and, right, and, right. Uh, and as A lot of think, our theater traditions come from yeah, the and, West End, and, right? And still all. Yeah, right. <laughs> still and and yeah. Some, some of the famous vaudevillians were Europeans. I of mean, course. Harry Lauder, you know, was English, and he was, he was knighted. He was, he was a huge vaudevillian in, the, in this period 
uh, two of the characters in the play, one is Irish, yes. one, one is British. So it's, it's a heavy uh, European, particularly British, influence. That's in very art. interesting that you say that, 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 that there's these different groups because, of course, now vaudeville happens, I guess, roughly between the time of the Civil War to the, what, 20s and 30s, the maybe? The late 20s, something much, much, you 27 tell me. to 20, 29 was sort of the end of vaudeville, although some of the vaudeville acts and entertainment were interspersed with motion pictures because the theaters sure, sure, there, right. because they were vaudevillian theaters, and some of the theaters actually built uh, for, for, for motion pictures, like when Charlie Chaplin built the Los Angeles Theater for uh, City Lights, yeah. he built it as a legitimate theater because he knew there'd be live entertainment before the show, intermission. That's where you had the Judy Garlands, who, who were sort of on the end of vaudeville, yeah. and actually continued to perform. During during the uh, during the films when they show the now films. your play kind of takes place in that sort of ending kind of period where there's kind of a this uh, there's definitely it, it still has about another good ten years but it's definitely the transition over the, to motion pictures and the and the, the demand for the motion picture companies to acquire these theaters because you have sure. to in vaudeville there was there were mainly two producers, Albie and Keith, that had over 400 theaters through the country. They had the lock they up, right? They, had a lock yeah, they were like a mafia of the... Right. Including the Palace in New York, which is sort of the jewel in, in, in the circuit. So uh, the motion picture companies, you know, all wanted to get those theaters. Wow. So. Mm. Uh, and th th at that time also, the, 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 a lot of people don't realize it, but uh, when they have uh, the vaudevillians tried to make the, the transition into film, and they would they would do, perform their acts before the, the movie, yep. you know, kind of like a pre-show. But uh, then the, the, the motion picture companies came in and said, "Hey, let us film your film your act. You more you'll get more exposure." They got more exposure, but they didn't need the act anymore. Yeah. They didn't need the it's live in the act. It's can now. It's it's already been shot. And, yeah, and yeah. They, they they shot that one uh, film of the, the act that they've been doing for decades. Yeah. And put themselves out of work. Just that fast. Sure, sure, sure. And, and certainly some acts translated better to film than other acts. Certainly, uh, 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 What do you think of W.C. Well, Fields? That his character and his act oh. was so much part of his persona that was easily transferred to motion pictures. Absolutely. He because adapted. He, he Chaplin wasn't... adapted. Yes. Uh, 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 Buster Keaton adapted. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 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 and, um, uh, well, you, so, you, so, have Bo you, have, you have Bob Hope, you know, with yeah, the big Absolutely Bob coming out of that. Had, uh, uh, you know, uh, Burns and Allen. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so th this play, Vaudeville, a play with music, um, uh, it, it takes place sort of coming right off of the, the heyday of, of Vaudeville, right? Um, and uh, uh, tell us a little bit about this play. Um, what's basically the storyline now? Th th this is, it's about a bunch of people in a boarding house that are they're all trying to, to get into vaudeville, yes? Well, no, they're, they're in. They're okay, in. Okay, okay. They're, they're all... the, uh, the lady, Kit Turner, who owns the boarding house, also owns the theater. Her husband was a big vaudevillian, so her income is running the theater. And, and so the, the acts stay in the boarding house while they're working the theater across the street for the, wow. for the two weeks, three weeks, whatever their contract run is. So, they're, so it's their home for those two or three weeks. So the, all the play happens in pretty much in the parlor of the house across the street from the theater. And it's almost in real time. The play is approximately six hours. Wow. Is the, is the time span that we do in approximately so two hours. So you're feeling the urgency so of the characters the, on stage, the, right? The intimacy, the urgency, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's almost in real time. Neat. Neat. It's written really well. They, the, 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 the writer put a lot of time, a lot of research into it. Each of the different and his characters. His name would be Lawrence Carr. Lawrence Carr, excuse me. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Lawrence. Who has a book coming out soon? Yeah, right. right. But, we're well, going to talk he, about a little bit about Lawrence, but yeah. What he what he did and what his what his uh, collaborators did uh, is they, they they took a whole bunch of different characters, and each one of those characters represents a particular dilemma that's happening with a vaud, with with a vaudevillian uh, w with somebody who's in, in vaudeville, somebody who's uh, somebody who's doing that particular type of act. Could, could, could you? Could you guys tell us a little bit about some of these characters? Because you mentioned there's a, kind of a rainbow of, of, of characters going on here. There's, there's a, a Jewish character. There's an Irish character. There's a, a, a one-legged Brit. One arm. One, one, one arm. arm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to offend he, he, he's anybody. He's sorry, Billy. He's a hoofer, so the one leg would He's a one-legged hoofer. That's He'd hilarious. He'd have to do single wings if he only had one leg. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's like that Bruce Springsteen song. Have you ever seen that three-legged dog walking down the road? Right. Yeah. Um, Kelvin, you know, the, these, these characters yeah. are all based on real people. 
Uh, yeah. Not to get on talk about the play, no, right? No, Lawrence yeah, Carr, but Lawrence's great grandfather was a vaudevillian. When he passed away, and, and and Larry got some of his belongings, he found out he had this history of, of vaudeville that his mother actually was in his grand, uh, his, uh, his it was in an act in va on vaudeville. Oh, so vaudeville. this is really coming so out of people. So that... out of this, out of this, when he got all this information, he created this play, and mm -hmm. and so these characters all based on real. Vaudevillian Fantastic. acts, and we have the combination wow. from the Irish tenor, who's also a monologuist. Uh, Tuba plays uh, Frankie. Uh, uh, plays. Uh, yeah, who does Tuba? Benny, Benny Cohen, Cohen, who is who is part Cohen. of a, of a team, Cohen and Cobb. Cohen which, and Cobb. This is kind of a comedy straight man comedic uh, mm -hmm. team. Uh, wow. Kind of an Abbott Costello kind of a. Tank, uh, so, team. Tell me about your character. Hey, I went, who is this guy? Hey, I went to hey, I went to visit my brother in Alaska. Know him? Of course, I know him. He's my brother. Ah, ah but I'm bum. Yeah. Well, Shh. you get a lot of that in the show. That's a good <laughs> thing. That's a really, really good thing. Uh, uh, does does uh, does Cohen sing any sing any songs? Uh, yes. There's a couple of. Couple of songs that I'm not going to sing right now. Oh, you, oh, you gotta oh. come to see the show. To oh, see I see. I see. Okay. Is there, is there a taste of, of of what you can do on a ukulele that we can perhaps see right now that might give us a taste? It, it, now this won't be someone. Someone left one on the stage here. Well, what? I wonder if it's in tune. Well, who did that? Is it in tune? Five foot two, eyes of blue. Oh, what those five feet can do? Has anybody seen my gal? Turned up nose, turned down toes, left on your soul, one of those. Has anybody seen my guy? You should run into a five foot two covered with fur. Diamond rings yeah. and all those things. You bet your life it isn't her. Oh, could she love? Could she woo? Could she, could she, could she coo? Has anybody seen my guy? That is a fun tune. <laughs> Thank you. That is a fun tune, Thank a you. classic. Everybody's heard that, yeah? Everybody's heard that somewhere. Well, these, all the songs in the, in the show are, are real songs of the period that most people have either heard or when they hear they'll remember, whether it's Hello, My Baby, Hello, My Honey, or By the Sea. Uh, they're, they're all songs uh, of the era, so it's all music right from the time. And, and they're, they're good songs, aren't they? I mean, even if you're listening to hip-hop or country or whatever you're listening to now, I, these songs are catchy. Well, we were talking catchy about things, you know, right? these songs all come out of, out, out of you know, the, the blues and jazz. Yes, uh, they and, do. And the the African-American music of, of this country. Right. So those influences you hear in, 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 in the lyrics as well as the musical accompaniment. They're still telling the same story. It's still the truth, right? Mm -hmm. It's still the truth. Um, uh, now, speaking about the African-American influence in vaudeville, certainly a huge influence in the in the music uh, and, and all of that um, tell it speak a little bit about that Ken and and speak a little bit about um, uh, the African-American character that you have in your in your show without giving too much of it away <laughs> well the uh, actually you know in in vaudeville the lesser the acts open and the the main act uh, or the star act was a closing act and in this play uh, the closing act is Jackson Washington, which is uh -huh. an African American song and dance man. He's, he's the closer. He's the closer, which means he's he's the big Kahuna. He's he's the act that brings them in, and he actually is of all the acts, he's the one who's actually locally from Philly, from Philadelphia. The mm -hmm. other acts have come in from other places, but he's local, but he's big. So, so he's the known guy. He's the oh, known guy. Yeah, yeah. The local known guy. The local known guy. Yeah. The the local hero, yeah. uh, so so to speak. And 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 certainly in vaudeville. Uh, uh, that was certainly a place where the African American performer uh, had a chance to rise, even though coming through the back door sometimes and like that, right? And even in the play, he makes his entrances and exits through the back door, through the kitchen, to come into the house. Uh, so we, we that's interesting. We deal with the with the the issues of the time, and racism was one of them, sure. as, as well as as uh, you know, the, the effect of World War I. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I say, one of the, one of the acts is, is a British music hall performer that lost his, lost his arm. Oh, so he loses his arm in, in the war. In the war. And he's trying, trying to make a comeback. It's a veteran story. It's a, it's How a, timely. It's a, it's, a, it's a family story. Well, OK, now I, I want to get into a little bit of that. I, I want to get into the reasons why you chose this, uh, th this piece. Of course, you know the, the, the writer. Uh, and it's a piece that you know very well. This is the West Coast premiere. This of play this has piece. never been performed west of the Mississippi. Right. We have, we're doing the West Coast premiere. But of thematically, this play is kind of a, uh, it, it's all inclusive, uh, kind of, right? It's got lots of different kinds of, 
uh, people it, and elements. It appeals to everybody. It appeals appeal to the kids. We have a 16-year-old character that, uh, that, that, that the younger kids in the audience will appeal to. It's very much family fair. And it's, it's also, we talked earlier about, you know, a lot of the, the comedy and, 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 and clowning and vaudeville borders on slapstick. And kids, uh -huh. kids love that. It's very much in the, in the cartoon world. So Hello. The, the funny fast, is funny, right? Funny is funny. Uh, and a lot of kids don't realize that a lot of the, the technique, uh, the, the, the stagecraft that, 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 that is used in vaudeville, it's the stuff that you're seeing on WB, on Looney Tunes, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's quick entrances, quick ads, it's, it's, uh, it's, it may be the double take, it may be the, right? It's yeah, Bugs, much. Bugs Bunny was doing stuff taken right out of burlesque and right Absolutely. out of vaudeville. Absolutely. Right, just completely off. And now, what, uh, what's this, what Dexter's Lab is doing the yes, same thing? Yes, they are, absolutely. Uh, every, look, turn, Nick, turn, on, turn on Nickelodeon, it's these and you're seeing things that were m invented when the Nickelodeon was a machine that you put coins you in yes. to play music, the first iPod. Absolutely. And, and, and a lot of the stock characters coming out of uh, uh, coming from vaudeville, uh, those, in fact, based on earlier stock characters mm. in uh, Commedia dell'arte and, 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 and things like that. I, mm -hmm. I see Bugs Bunny as a Harlequino. Actually, right. you know, right? Yeah, He's right. kind of a, a trickster, kind of a, you know, this guy, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the other thing that I wanted to say about Advent Theater, okay, I want, I want to talk a little bit about this theater that we're sitting in uh, right here. 30 year anniversary of this. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, as, so, we're, this show is actually celebrating a 30 year anniversary of the Advent Theater Company, which is uh, kind of attached to, uh, a church, right? First Christian Church of North Hollywood. Yeah. First Christian Church of North Hollywood, and uh, I just want to touch upon some of the um, some of the deeper things that that that, that uh, of course this uh, this theater company is about about having fun and entertainment and and and, and all of that. But uh, you take the money that you get from the, the door at this theater, and you do something with it, don't you? Can you we, tell me a little do. bit this, about that? This production of, of vaudeville, all, the, all, the, all the, the profits are to the benefit of the North Hollywood Interfaith Food Pantry. And we're one of okay. several churches and temples. I don't know if there's six or seven uh, uh, churches and temples that, that all sponsor the Interfaith right. Food Pantry. So the, the profits from the show go directly to the Interfaith Food Pantry. And it's, it's, it's appropriate to note that the founders of the theater 30 years ago, yeah. a lot of them were some of the original members of the Broadway company of Godspell that happened to be here in the How church. cool. And they founded cool. the theater as a, as a place to fellowship, as a place to be creative, as a place to be part of the community, and, uh -huh. and also to entertain the, the, the other congregates here at the church. But at the same time, they, uh, they also started the North Hollywood Interfaith Food Pantry. Interesting. Uh, These two things started at around the same time. Exactly the same time so they were on stage entertaining doing what they're they're performing their craft that right. they, they trained having and, their fun and having their fun yeah and at the same time giving back so we to, to kind of pick up that mantle we, we've actually kind of focused the mission of Advent to to still have that kind of fellowship and that entertainment for the community and, and to be part of the North Hollywood Arts District but also to, to establish a charity or an outreach that we can use our proceeds our profits to, uh, to, to sponsor a benefit. There's, well, a, how about there's, that? A, there's a personal side to that for me. Yeah. Uh, my first, my first uh, Broadway play that I was in as, as a, in high school was Godspell. Ah. And then all of a sudden, years later, I find myself here, uh, was introduced uh, uh, to our, uh, our, uh, our, our, our uh, media whiz here, uh, Carl Klein, who's over there. He said, uh, he heard me singing on a stage during an acting class, come see the choir. Of course, the choir is directed by Steve Reinhardt, the original music director of Godspell. Wow. And that's what got me in, involved in this church. There's a certain amount of evangelism there. I was looking for a place to be, to, to, to be accepted in a you know, church kind of a Well, thing. there's a connection, wow. there's entertainers. A, there's a connection entertainers, to vaudeville and Godspell. I mean, some of the numbers sure, are, absolutely. are, it's are very lifted vaudeville. right out of absolutely. vaudeville. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The style of Godspell uh, uh, is, is very sort of vaudevillian and, and, and like that. You're, you're right. Um, uh, now, this... Uh, Good for you. No, I just, and we didn't, no, we didn't no, rehearse that, no, no, did we? No, I mean, no, Vaudeville, this play, is probably the perfect show to do for the 30th anniversary. Did you like And it's going to open September 23rd. I wasn't, I wasn't hyping. I was being sincere. It's, it's sincere, and, 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 and it's the information that we need to give people. Um, uh, so, uh, 
Did I answer your question? Um, I forgot. <laughs> what, what was the question that I asked? I, 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 I've gotten totally off on a, on a tangent. Well, we here. talked, well, we talked is, about this. Is such a great, it, it, this, is, this is Studio City. This is North Hollywood. Right. This is the home of some of the finest entertainers in the entire world. And many of them come here to commune the, and are members of this, of this congregation, which is an amazing thing because at this church, you, you folks do a television production, film production, am I this, right? This was the Seventh Heaven uh, Church, recurring location for I Seventh Heaven. I wanted to mention that, that. Indiana Jones got married here. Right here, uh, not, not in this room, but actually in the, 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 sanctuary. the sanctuary itself, uh, they used to film Seventh Heaven, and uh, they filmed Indiana Jones getting married here. The Office had a wedding here. No kidding. Yep. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Phyllis so, got married here. So this is a real show business kind of a. <laughs> kind we're of very a trick. we're very connected to that part of the community, and it's it's only natural that the arts have, have been emphasized and, and have been supported here with all our different. We have a multitude of different services from contemporary to traditional, and the music and the arts programs. The Spanish very, service as well. The Spanish service as well is very, yeah. and we do a whole summer arts program for kids here too. Wow, so there Here's is a campus. huge connection. Oh. Wow. Check this out, folks. You know, this is a great, uh, it's a great place here. Um, uh, you know, and I, I wanted to, uh, uh, I tell you what, you got any other songs you can sing for us? You got anything else you can pull out? No gal made has got a shade on sweet Georgia Brown. Two left feet, but also oh neat, that's sweet Georgia Brown. They all cry and want to die for sweet Georgia Brown. I'll tell you just why. You know I don't lie. Not much, eh? It's been said she knocks them dead when she comes into town. Since she came, why, it's a shame how she cools them down. Oh, fellas, she can't get. Oh, fellas, she ain't met. Georgia claimed her Georgia name is sweet Georgia Brown. Uh, somebody give me a, a, a basketball. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like twirling a basketball on my finger uh, when I hear that song. That's the, the Harlem Glo Globetrotters. Yeah, you know, we're we're, we're, we're blessed by having having Tube in the cast because because he his clowning and because he 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 plays the uke. We've added the uke with the permission of the, of the playwright into the show. Which you not, got you got to go with the well, gold. So you got you got to right. stick with the money. You got to stick with the money. Yeah, uh, you're talking about all these different programs that you guys have at this church, and uh, you know. I, I, I'm kind of kidding you here, but you know, what kind of ministry you guys got going on here? You know, what kind of what kind of crazy church is this? Well, you guys got you know television production. You've got a, 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 a you've got band camp and then the music camp, and you you've got the uh, the Advent Theater Company here. Reflect, what other things? It do you reflects have our church family. We, th th uh -huh, this church uh -huh. family is a lot of them are, are in are in production, are in our act are actors or are, 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 are retired people that are. We're in show business for a long time, uh, uh, soap opera stars, uh, all, all kinds of people. And it's not just that, but, but it's, it's, we, we, we play to our strengths. And, yeah. and, part of, and part of having a church is evangelism and outreach and stuff like that to, to bring in people to come and volunteer for the North Hollywood Interfaith Food Pantry and to get money for, for these different programs, uh, you know, uh, supporting you know, you know, the different disaster relief things that the uh, the 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 in the in gathering of, of funds happening yeah, yeah, yeah. and to, and to do that you know you can, you can go please give us money but we could go hey you want to see a show there you, you know go. I think the I'd money, rather see a show put, the money's put to good use my daughter my youngest daughter uh, went on two youth youth trips to New Orleans to help clean up Katrina which is part of the money that was good for that, that was raised through all the all the things we do here at the church and through the co the contribution and ties to to members so uh, you know Advent Theater is is a church base. Theater company. One of the reasons we're able to produce and also have profits is because the church sponsors us, gives us a place to live and play, you know, pays the electric bill. Right. So those, the biggest cost for theater production, which are your rent and your and your and your utilities, we're blessed that the, that the theater sponsors us and gives us a free reign. We're not a church the company, theater right. company, but we are a church-based theater company. Sure, sure. Um, and. Uh, so that gives us the, 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 the resources to be able to give back. To yeah, the sure. You got the power to give something back. That's, and that's just amazing. so just so you know, this might be an issue to somebody. There's really no, no there there are really no religious overtones or undertones or anything subversive in vaudeville. It's it's just a straight on wonderful show. It's it's just a, a, a good time. Yeah, a rollicking good time. That, that that's a wonderful thing to say. Uh, thank you for saying that. And. Uh, uh, 
Tell us about uh, some of the other uh, programs that you have uh, going on here, and maybe we can get into a little bit of the, the history of the Advent Theater uh, a little bit more. Uh, oh, can, well, can Tuba, Tuba can speak more than that, because he's actually, we were rummaging through clean, having a work day here, and I came across some of these black and white pictures of a very young and thin Tuba. Wow. <laughs> wow. Not to say that Tuba's not And I'm not saying, that, I'm not saying that he ate Advent Theater, but there were rumors that... Uh, but on bump. Well, they, know, they know how to do craft services here, let me tell you. Wow. Um, but, but th th Food th creates community as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which brings me to Can Can Night. And okay. during, during just about every run of every production that Advent Theater has done, we have a Can Can Night, which is bring in the can, bring some cans of food for the homeless, and pay what you can. So if you want, if you want to get a break on the, on, 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 the, on, the, on the coming in to see the show for the, 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 the income, you know, we understand that. Sure. Bring some food. Bring, 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 that bring, extra what, can of bring what you can. That you can, can. And we've yeah, dedicated. Sure. We've got a preview on Thursday, the twenty-second. Okay. Which is, uh, which is, the preview before we September open. September the twenty-second. Thursday, twenty-second. So anybody who wants to, to, to come and bring a can of food or pay what they can, get it's a, chance. a secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, I just let the cat out of the bag. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, you know what? I want you to remind people, uh, Ken, right now. Uh, about when this play is going to be happening, uh, exactly where it is. Can I throw that to you and just absolutely, sort of absolutely. Remind, remind people about that right now? The, the vaudevillians will be living in Kit Turner's theatrical boarding house parlor starting on the 22nd of September, which is our pre preview, our can-can night, and then we open on the 23rd of September. We're playing Friday and Saturday evenings at 8, and we're doing a Saturday and Sunday matinee at 1.30. Saturday and Sunday matinee, matinee that must be fun. For the kids. Okay, and, kid, and, a lot and, of kids and there. For the, and for the seniors that perhaps would prefer to drive in daylight. Sure, we in, all in would theater, prefer that, is, that is uh, traditionally called the blue hair uh, uh, shows, <laughs> right? right. When, the, when, the, when the ladies so from the blue run, hair. But those are always some of the best shows. Well, right? this, the, this show obviously has a great appeal to, to older pe people that right. either remember vaudeville or remember their parents' experience, and, and of course, they're going to connect with the music sure. and the comedy. Right. Uh, so we do run from the 23rd through October 9th here at North Hollywood on the corner of Colfax and Moore Park. Colfax and Moore Park. Advent Theater is, 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 in the, is at the First Christian Church in North Hollywood is our home. And so uh, we'd and love for everybody to come out, and, and we have a number. Okay. That you can call for reservations or for other information, which is 818-753-3353. That's 818-753-3353. And we're at 4390 Colfax Avenue in Studio City, the corner of Moore Park in Colfax. Plenty of parking. Yeah. <laughs> Come out and see this show, folks, because uh, this is going to be a, a great time. You've got some of these, this great talent here, these great personalities. Uh, uh, and all of that money goes to uh, the North Hollywood... North Hollywood Interfaith Food Pantry. Food Pantry. And uh, you're feeding people. And uh, in this economy, folks, uh, I don't have to remind anybody where we're at here. And uh, uh, it's an important thing to, to put food in people's stomachs uh, at this time. Um, I want to mention, uh, before we go out here, that uh, my, uh, my cool, fashionable clothing is uh, provided by uh, In Ad Minus uh, out in, uh, uh, out in uh, uh, Oaks. the Sherman Oaks <laughs> Mall, <laughs> In Ad Minus. Uh, I'm wearing a pair of uh, stretch denim jeans and a fabulous, very thin, very comfortable uh, black uh, linen shirt. And that's from In Ad Minus, they're our sponsor. Once again, this is Kelvin Han Yee. Uh, you're watching Creative Current on LAArtStream.com. Be sure to come back to this website and join in on the discussion uh, after you watch this show. You can leave comments, and uh, our guests, uh, Ken Campbell and Tuba, uh, will get back on and answer questions uh, and maybe even enter into a discussion with you uh, on this website. Uh, once again, this is Creative Current on LAArtStream.com. I'd like to thank Ken Campbell and no, pleasure. Thank Tuba you. Michael Hetherington. Thank you so much. This was a fascinating conversation. We'd love to have you back. And folks, come out and see Vaudeville, a play with music here at the Advent Theater in the Noble Arts District. Let's go. Until next time.